International experts from several Western countries, including Britain, have arrived at the scene of the Nairobi shopping centre attack to join the Kenyan investigation into how militants planned their operation. The Interior Minister says forensic investigators have been looking for clues to identify victims and gunmen. One survivor, a radio presenter, has described how she played dead to survive what she called inhuman terrorists shooting at everyone. I was next to this teenage boy who lay down there. He was um, lying flat on his tummy and um, he seemed hurt. What I decided to do is because they were randomly shooting at everyone. They were very inhuman. They were heartless people. So I took a lot of his blood, the much I could, and I tried to put it on myself. I put it on my arm, a lot of the teenager's blood. And while I was trying to put it on my hand, I just realized that he stopped breathing at that time. The Kenyan Red Cross has set up a counseling center in the grounds of the mortuary where families are trying to identify their relatives. The Islamist Al-Shabaab group has said the attack was in retaliation for Kenyan military operations in Somalia. Kenya is there as part of an African Union force.